All right, guys, I just replaced the center steering uh, link on this amazing W124, and I just loosened the adjustment for the tie rods. I'll be doing the adjustment for the alignment. I have to adjust the alignment. I'll be doing it the old school way using a string right here. It's all ready to go, and it's not gonna be the super, super accurate, but I'm usually pretty well and pretty good with these cars. So I'm gonna be doing that, and then uh, I have to adjust the camber first, and then the tow uh, angles and then we should be good to go. Uh, and then after that, I'll just finish a couple more things on this car. Hopefully we're done soon. I also noticed that these were installed incorrectly. There's a slot in them which is on this side. It was facing up, it's supposed to face down. And also since I took these off, I will just, you know, put some fluid film right here so it stays preserved. Almost. This is the helper that's helping me adjust the camber. All right, guys, so I just finished the alignment. I finished installing everything, all the parts. Right now, I'm just finishing up with the uh, that rust spot on the sunroof, and we should be all good to go. I can't wait to test drive this amazing car. Everything is pretty much ready to go. I mean, there's still some work that needs to be done to this car, but we will probably do it next year. Uh, right now, the car is amazing, awesome. I can't wait to test drive it, like I said. Um, thank you so much for all your support, and hopefully it was fun watching me work on this car we're also gonna condition the leather i'm gonna make it look nice preserve this thing and it will need new front seats or skins at least for sure because they're pretty worn out but we're still gonna make this thing look amazing and nice clean preserved and lubricated same with the door panels Alright guys, this is the next day um, and this is the final day that uh, I'm having this car. Uh, the owner is actually coming right now to pick it up. He's in about an hour away and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, everything. Um, but first thing I want to do is I want to actually test drive it because I haven't test driven it yet. So I want to go ahead and test drive it and I'm pretty sure everything is fine. I test drove it like once already, uh, but I want to test drive it on, uh, once again. Um, I haven't done it since yesterday, so we're going to we're gonna go ahead and experience this amazing W124. Make sure she performs well, make sure there's no, uh, you know, issues, make sure there's no noises from suspension, everything that I did on this car. Other than that, I will at the end, after we do the test drive, I will show you uh, everything that was done uh, just so we can wrap it up.
guys the car is performing amazing uh, no noises whatsoever everything is amazing axles suspension feels tight you know even though i know that there's a few uh s you know a few parts components that need to be replaced such as uh idler arm for the steering and steering dampener but even then the car is performing amazing um and i just love this car so much and i'm hoping that the owner will be happy i'm pretty sure he will be uh also don't pay attention to this uh uh light bulb on the cluster because the third brake light is out i think the owner told me that he tried to take it out and broke because it was brittle i'm not sure but that's why that light is on telling you that one of the bulbs is out um other than that this car is amazing guys i love everything about it it's pretty awesome and i'm gonna stop and i'll show you some more of this car um and you know uh just so we can wrap up this video other than that the test drive is amazing um it feels great feels so smooth feels like an amazing machine classic mercedes guys all right guys here's an uh, amazing w124 mercedes e-class 1994 it was made at the end of 1993 in october but it's a 1994 model it looks really beautiful nice amazing i have no words the owner is really taking care of this car giving it all the love and everything but look how amazing this car looks even with factory wheels um the wheels were pretty dirty when this car came to me but i cleaned everything up and made the the wheels shine and all that but as you can see this car is so beautiful um yeah it's just uh, it's just an amazing legendary car that will never be forgotten um super reliable super smooth uh super comfortable literally an ideal car for a road trip uh, i have no words i'm about to show you the interior the interior is not the best uh, but here's the interior it's got a cream colored interior and as you can see no rust so that's awesome um and yeah the car is taken care of except like i said the interior needs to be either reupholstered or replaced uh that's a really common problem you know especially if you don't condition the leather seats but i also conditioned the dashboard for him a bunch of other things cleaned everything up cleaned the carpets for him and uh, look at this amazing beautiful wood trim uh on that this car has it's just so insanely amazing um and right here as well we have beautiful door cards or door panels and here's the back of the car uh these remind me of w210 w210 also had these type of uh back seat pockets um everything else is there the, it even has the first aid kit in there yeah that's how this car looks really beautiful insanely amazing legendary car i love those tail lights that it has classic uh, factory tail lights it's pretty awesome here's the beautiful trunk lots of space here and shout out w123 wagon pelican parts they helped us out with axle boots we got the axle boots from those guys and we replaced the axle boots on this amazing machine. So it has brand new axle boots as well. All right guys, here's everything that was done to this car. Replaced front brake pads and rotors on this car. Replaced rear brake pads and rotors on this car. I had to redo the parking brake adjustment. Uh, the parking brake was not working once again when the car came into, uh, you know, to me and i discovered that somebody probably left the parking brake on and drove it like that that's why the parking brake was not working anymore so i had to readjust it right now the parking brake is working next thing i did engine mounts both engine mounts are replaced i cleaned the air filter because it has KN air filter so i cleaned the air filter and the air boxes for this car replaced the battery tray uh, on this car and preserved everything there uh, also did the oil and filter change replaced the oil level sensor o-ring um i also uh, fixed a coolant leak i had the slight coolant leak that was done and i also drained and refilled the coolant because i think the owner was topping it off with water because he was getting tired of that coolant leak right now everything is back to normal also replaced the cabin both cabin filters which are located under the wiper cowl it's a little tough to get to also 
have fixed the noise in the sunroof. So when you tilt it this way, it had a noise. Uh, so I fixed that, just put a lot of lube in right where the seal is, the silicone paste, and also fixed this rust spot right there. There was some, there was a little bit of rust right there. Scraped it all off to bare metal and treated it, touched it up. Um, looks pretty well, pretty good. Uh, also did front waiver bushings, replaced all four of those. Um, I also did, uh, Let's see, what else did I do? Uh, oh, I had to fix the right front window because, you know, the car got tinted. I think maybe something happened, I'm not sure, but the, when it was going up, it was kind of like uh, binding a little bit. And then I sprayed a bunch of lube into the tracks and it's all good right now. As far as the back, what it had done is I replaced, uh, I took out the CV axles, both CV axles, I rebuilt them, uh, put new grease in there and to put new boots as well so it has brand new boots and grease in there so and those were rebuilt uh, I also changed on this side I changed the antenna seal so the antenna seal is brand new and amazing also lubricated the antenna mast uh, with automatic trans fluid so that was also done uh, cleaned up the interior also installed a remote uh, door lock on this car so it's gonna the owner is gonna be able to open it and unlock it unlock it and lock it with a remote um, I also performed front end alignment on it um, and I told the owner that it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be pretty close which it is pretty close. Uh, he will just have to replace the front tires on it and after I replace the control arms and other things in the front suspension uh, then he will take it to an alignment shop but as of right now he will be fine. Um, another thing that I did is inside the car. I lubricated or actually cleaned up these seat belts so they can retract nicely uh, because they, they were actually pretty dirty and they were not retracting at all. So right now everything is fixed as far as that. Um, I also replaced the power steering return hose on it and topped it off with power steering fluid. And yeah, I just did a bunch of stuff on it. Honestly, guys, I can't remember everything. Maybe I'm missing something else. Oh, I replaced one of the exhaust mounts that bolts up to the rear uh, subframe. Uh, so that was done as well. And um, what else did I do, guys? I can't remember. There's something else that I did. Uh, oh, I worked on these. These actually were installed upside down. So I removed them and then I reinstalled them back the right way. Um, a bunch of work has been done guys but this car is in amazing shape i can't wait to deliver this car to the owner and hopefully to see his amazing smile uh and yeah this car uh, you know i had i've had this car for like two weeks right now and this car was always uh missing her owner you know she's like where's my owner where's my owner so today finally she will reunite with her owner There it is, the owner's picking up this amazing car, an amazing W124.